another channel. It's the Asian Phenom back with another spectacular video. So I'm gonna go over the ridiculous comic book craze of the 90s, known for its gimmick covers. Now, let me tell you a little bit of history about collecting comic books in the 90s. Comic speculation reached its highest peak from roughly 1985 to 1993. This boom period began with titles such as Batman The Dark Knight Returns and Watchmen and also crossover epics like Crisis on Infinite Earths and Marvel's Secret Wars. Now, in addition, Hollywood came out with Batman the movie, and with that success, the comic book industry gained even more popularity with the 1992 story of the death of Superman. Now, comic book companies realized the niche market and its potential for more money making. During the time, mainstream comic book publishers began to cater specifically to the collector's market. After realizing the public that was going crazy over valued comics such as the first appearance of Superman in action number one, which was worth three million dollars and up, Superman number one, eight hundred thousand dollars and up, Amazing Spider-Man number one, 60,000 and up in Uncanny X-Man 44,000 and up which brings us today while I'm making this video I'm sharing with you guys my whole collection of gimmick cover comic books from the 90s let's get started we have first off the bats polybag gimmicks we have Superman number 75 with the death of Superman and you even have gimmick covers like trading cards such as X-Force number one and this one Valiant Solo with the, with the special 3D glasses. And next up is Glowed in the Dark covers. We got Ghost Rider number 15, There They Will Fall from Grace number 321 and the Spectre number one. Next up is holographic covers. We have Silver Server number 75, Incredible Hope number 400, even Jim Lee's Wildcats number 2. And if you notice on the Silver Surfer, it is holographic and embossed. Silver Surfer is sticking out a little bit. And let's not forget Wolfrey number 145. See that holographic adamantium claws? Amazing. Next up, we have die cut covers. And it looks like Shadowhawk 2, number 1. It's actually dual covers, die cut and holographic. Can you get any more serious than this? Unfortunately, with all that gimmick, it's not worth that much. Punisher War Zone, do you see it? Spectacular. And we have covers like Special silver embossed covers such as this Magnus Robot Fighter number 25. Even more embossed covers, plastic covers such as this Fantastic Four number 371. Look at that. And this cover price is $2. We have embossed metallic covers, Shadowhawk number 1. See what's up next? Embossed special gold covers such as this Avengers 366. Pretty spectacular. Look at that. I wish it was 24 karat gold. And let's not forget Supreme with the embossed logo, Image Comics. And we get to Valiant Comics. These are the spectacular Chromium covers. From Bloodshot number one and Exo Man of War number zero. 
Now, this is one of my favorite covers. Look at how, first of all, the art is fantastic. Look how shiny and detailed it is. Slightly embossed. It's just so colorful. And this actual, this is, this is another one of my favorite covers. Bloodshot number one. Chromium cover is so colorful and just perfect. And let's not forget more of these special covers such as Punisher 2099 and Venom number one. And we have Spider-Man 2099. And even more of these holographic covers. We have a Spider-Man number 100. And let's not forget, the best movie came out last year, Guardians of the Galaxy. I would say this is more like a metallic, slightly embossed cover. Look how amazing this is. And to end it off, we have two of these spectacular Iron Man issues. They just came out for no reason. I mean, like, there's no nothing spectacular in the storyline. And there's nothing special about the issue number. Not like it's 300 or 500. It's just 288 and 290. But we have the silver and gold. Of all the spectacular covers, which one do you guys think is the best looking one. Hit me up in the comment section and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy collecting. Well, since we're talking about special covers, let's check out which of these glow in the dark covers impresses the most with the light off. You guys ready? All right, you guys ready? There we go. Wow, speaking up with my iPhone 6. Check it out. Here is a Spectra number one. Wow, that's very detailed. And Ghost Rider number 15. You can definitely tell. That's Ghost Rider right there. And Daredevil number 321. Which one of these do you guys think is the best? Hit me up in the comment section.